Hey everyone, today I'm going to explain the amino functional group. Uh, the amino group is essentially a nitrogen with two hydrogens, uh, and that amino group is considered a basic functional group. The reason it's considered a basic functional group is because if a molecule has an amino group and you place that molecule in, let's say, a solution, let's say I have my coffee here, and I place the molecule that has an amino group attached into my coffee here, what it'll do is it'll find a proton floating around in my coffee. And remember, proton is H plus, okay? It will find a proton from my coffee and it'll just sequester it, it will grab it, okay? So then it will grab that proton and this will become NH3, it's called NH3, NH3 plus. All right, did you see what happened there? The reason why amino groups are basic functional groups is because when you place them into solution, they become ionized. They grab a proton from the water. They become NH3 plus. And now your solution is more basic. You know why? Because the fewer protons are available floating around in your solution, the more basic your solution is. And that's a basic functional group. It took a proton away from my solution. It, it reduced the number of protons. By definition, now my solution is more basic. Just keep in mind, too, there are th uh, four different ways of denoting an amino group. Real quick, you've got N with two H's. That's amino group, okay? And, and another way of writing this is NH2, right? And then... There's the ionized form of this. It's called NH3, right? NH3 plus or NH3 plus. So there's four different ways of writing this. Uh, NH2, NH2, NH3 plus, NH3 plus. Don't get confused. All four mean the same thing. It's an amino group. And amino groups make you a base. All right, thanks again. Uh, please like, subscribe. Uh, comment, que uh, leave questions down below. You know, I uh, will try to get back to you and I will answer questions and I will clarify anything that seems confusing. Uh, thanks again and see you next time. Bye.